All right, you guys, welcome back again. Uh, and hopefully you can actually have time and get out and play right now. If not, just enjoy the, this video and try to gain all the knowledge about tennis as you can. So uh, a lot of times I have talked before already and uh, Aritz also mentioned, I'm sure you heard it before. The toughest shots really are the ones that you want to run. So a lot of times, uh, you know, if you're stepping inside a court, you're taking the ball early, it's easy to take those balls and hit them on, on your waist level. But sometimes you, sometimes due to your mistakes and strategy, sometimes it could be because your opponent hit a very nice shot and you start struggling hitting on the run shots. So running forehand is very challenging, but I think running back, and for majority of you, I don't say that every single one of you has a weaker backhand than the forehand. Of course, there's exceptions. So, uh, like Aritz, for example. Yeah, there you go. He's raising his hand. You guys can hear can see him, but he would much prefer taking a running back and then running forehand, for example. So for me, running forehand is easier, but running back is a little bit tougher. So you guys, we're going to give you a drill where you can practice your running backhands. It's a very simple drill. You just need a partner and there's two ways to do it. First, it's going to be a little bit easier to, just to get used to the drill. You're going to fit the ball down the line. Your partner is going to hit the ball cross. You run, hit running uh, backhand, play the point out. And then the second one is going to be starting on the singles line. Now. For those of you who have one-handed backhand like me, or even if you have a two-handed backhand but it's not as strong as of, uh, your forehand, slice is a great option. So for example, if you're on the stretch, you barely get into the ball, sometimes trying to come over and hit a topspin ball or a drive becomes very challenging. So you can actually run and slice, chip the ball, cross court, keep it low. That ball is going to travel a little bit slower, gives you time to recover. Also has a high cross court topspin ball. All right, guys, let's enjoy the video and see if we can learn some. All right, guys, so you can see in this drill, very challenging to get out of that defense, especially if you're out wide by the singles line. A lot of times you have to run about 24 feet to your backhand. All of a sudden you hit a defensive shot and you're just trying to figure out how to win. Obviously, some of the points uh, you can slice out wide, you can hit a higher topspin ball, but it's not going to guarantee that you're going to get out and win the point. With that said, you got to be very smart the way you play points. Make sure you choose the shots that are going to make you run. Choose the high percentage shots. Don't just go down the line and smacking balls because or you're going to miss the shot or you're going to make it. But if you don't hit the line, all of a sudden it goes to your opponent and he's going to make he's going to make you run. He's going to use the pace against you. You're going to be all over the place. So hopefully it helps you out. It's a very simple drill that can help you to uh, get out and play better on the running backhands and enjoy it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video during these tough times. I hope you can get out. For those of you who cannot get out outside right now, 
Guys, stay tough. We're going to get out soon. Hopefully, this all disappears. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. We're going to be so responsive right now. We have some time on our hands, so we're going to help you out as much as we can.